here we go, everybody. As my inhaler, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Wherever you may be, it's like in Warlord. The stash. I'm making this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to go through this very quickly. I am going to make you guys a flower start video. Okay? So I'm going to pick a different server on the monthly. Uh, let's just go with this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a forest. And I'm going to sell the ponds. We're going to make the windmills. We're going to start selling the flower. I'd like to get this video out to you guys before the game starts but I can't make any promises because alas I have stuff to do today and never ever do I have enough time for what I need alright we're gonna go right here because it's pretty close to uh, Kinshasa which is an OG location I could do here which is one two three four five six squares away and this is one two three four five six seven um, yeah, let's do it right here. Screw it. All right. We're going to call it Lycan's Home. Boom. All right. So step one, what we're going to do is we are going to immediately sell all of these ponds down here. While I'm doing that, I need enough cash to build my uh, storehouse. So immediately, we're going to build our storehouse. Uh, we're going to put a lumberjack so we can start collecting wood. I'm going to go ahead and add another uh, builder house in just to speed things up. You don't have to do that. That's optional. Uh, we're going to put a windmill right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you. You don't, you don't have to even sell any wood. or You don't have to even sell any wheat. You can literally just make flour and you'll have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and, because normally right now at this point you would sell that first batch of wheat. We're not going to do that. We're going to demo all of these ponds. And how many got like three left? Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to keep a couple of the ponds over here, this little four pack of ponds. And we're going to keep uh, this, we're going to keep, we're going to get rid of this pond. And get rid of this pond, I believe. Because we'll have three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So we can get rid of that one. We put a tree farm there. And where's my tree farm? There we go. And then we'll, we'll leave. It. That's good for now. We'll make everything else work. Um, I have auto sell turned off on my script. I'm going to leave. Well, I thought I had it off. We're going to turn it off. And what we're going to sell is flowers. Let's come down here to flower. We're going to turn it on so now it'll sell flour and we're going to put it to stop at let's say five gas just to be sure all right i just put an s and i didn't need to we're going to delete that s boom okay so interesting thing to notice is that the way this game sets you out it starts you out with this wheat that's getting three water but this wheat is not so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that wheat and we're going to put it right here and i'm actually going to have to demo that uh demo that lumberjack I put oh well we'll uh we'll take care of that right now once he puts that wood in we'll demo him so the reason I'm demoing him is you see it's slowing down my wheat timer so we're gonna go ahead and remove him right now I jumped the gun on that all right so I got that built you see how my storehouse is now built the storehouse is where you store flour wheat uh, excuse me flour uh, sugar or salt I'm gonna go ahead and make windmill now and the windmill needs to be three squares away from any other windmill. So the next one would be right here. Uh, it's going to cast shade on our tree. So we're not going to put it there. We're going to put it over here. Boom. I've got 34,000. So I've got enough for... If I don't want to sell any wheat, I've got enough for two... Um, What am I looking for? Two, uh, wow, two uh, windmills. Sorry, brain fart. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this windmill down. That should be enough space where it's not gonna get any wind block. If it does, we'll we'll readjust. Pretty sure we're good there, though. All right, this little farmer's gonna keep doing his dang thing. 
Once these guys are done, we'll have a windmill, we'll start producing flour, and we're off to the races. So what's important to note about this is you have 40 gasoline, okay? If you do the math, if I don't sell any uh, wheat and I just sell flour, that is enough uh, that is enough flour sales to get like $900,000, which is plenty of enough money to make a uh, gasoline setup. All right, flour, we're going to go ahead and hit make. Boom. Now, what's important to note here is we want our lumberjack to, uh, he's going to bring the wood to the windmill for us. So I think we'll be good right here. I don't think we'll be in the way of the windmill. We should be good right there. Worst case, we'll demo this guy and put the lumberjack there that we need to. Eventually, we're going to have more lumberjacks because we want to have a constant stream of wood going to our windmill. So, you see they're bringing, he's got one, two, three wheat. Boy, he's slow. But yeah, this is pretty much it. We're going to let the farmer keep rocking and rolling. Rolling and rocking. Uh, we will put another windmill here. Yeah, put one there. Um, I don't know. Where are we going to put it? Put one here for sure. One here. Let's put one here. Screw it. All right, that's where our next windmill is going to go. Now, for the sake of getting some cash, I want to build these windmills out. We're going to go ahead and make a cell. Now, I'm going to... You know, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this like you would. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I was gonna put my express depot, but we're just gonna we're gonna leave it no NFT. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click sell, and it'll be one minute, so that's manageable. We'll go ahead and set that. Boom. All right, we're selling that. So now we have 39 gasoline left. It's all good. We'll make this work. All right, this windmill is about to come up. We're gonna go ahead. See, this windmill's in a green timer, so that's one minute. This windmill, go ahead and turn it on flower. Now I forgot, I do have my uh, skins on, so let me go ahead and turn my skins off. So that way it's a truly, it's fair for everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Skins are off, no NFTs. All right, my bad, I forgot about them. All right, so. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna remove this one. Boom. Put a tree farm there. Now I've got enough cash to build another windmill, which I'm going to do. Put a windmill there. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to. Uh, I mean, we're doing good on the flower production. Um, I want some more uh, wood. So I'm going to go ahead and make another lumberjack. Let's stick him over here out of the way. You don't need a, you don't need a, all you need is one road to make this. So you literally can just, boom, put it right there and you're done. Uh, we'll probably stick another one in here. See how there's two spots? We'll stick another one in there when we need to. Um. But for right now, I think that's good. We're going to go ahead and add another farmer for now. We'll add one more farmer. And... What I don't have cash for that. Uh, I'll have to sell some more uh, wheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn wheat on to 36. Yeah, 36. That's good. Let's do that. I don't want to waste too much gas, but realistically, I'm all right. As long as I don't get below 30, 30 gasoline with selling just flour, I'll have enough money for my gas production. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to end up demoing all this right here, most likely, and putting everything right there. Tucking it in this corner without having to demo. Like, I can probably put it here, actually. That way I don't have to demo as much trees, because the trees are more expensive to get rid of. You see, we're less than 10 minutes in. We've already made one flower. Our second flower is on the way. 
Eventually, you're going to streamline this and make it as easy for them to walk as possible. But for right now, it is what it is, as they say. Uh, we can also put uh, wheat here and here and here. You know, we have places to put wheat. Uh, put, put wheat here. We got plenty of spots once we start running out of wheat. Once the wheat starts getting low in our silo, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that there. All right. waiting we're waiting all right waiting on our 10 wheat which hopefully this farmer will get there in time if I really needed money I could uh, I could demo that pond right there and just put the wheat elsewhere but again I'm not too too worried about it uh, for right now, this will do. I'm running low on cash, so we are going to hopefully get 10 wool, 10 wheat, excuse me, 10 wheat so we can make a sale. We're running low. I'm going to go ahead and stop him so he doesn't take a wheat. And that way. We hopefully can get that. This will be our 10th wheat right here. I'm going to go ahead and manually sell it. So I don't have to wait on the script. I need that cash, baby. Daddy needs that cash. Alright, now we're good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn him back on. Just That was my fault. Didn't think about it. My uh, my, my cost of living is expensive. But uh, we'll be good after this get, uh, wheat comes in. Give us 10, uh, 10 minutes of, of uh, sales. We should be good. Um, I really need to build the farmer, so whenever that comes back, I'm going to build that other That's really what the problem is. I don't have enough uh, homeboy here who's taking his sweet time. I can actually demo this if I needed to and get it out the way, walk a little faster, but I'm not worried about that because I will eventually need that pond. But works. let me make me a little, uh, make my time sheet. Make me a, a time sheet here. Alright, so we're going to put uh, speed up at, alright, alright, cool, so I got this timer, I got this windmill cracking, and now we got enough cash, I'm going to go ahead and build my other farmhouse now, and we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Worst case, you can always demo your builder house, you can demo your logger house, a lumberjack house if you really need cash and a crunch. And again, I can always demo this for 5000 if I really, really need to. But I want to keep these ponds because that's going to keep giving me my wood that I need for uh, my tree, tree farms. Because eventually I'm going to need the tree farms to pump out wood because there's not going to be enough wood on the map. <sighs> so, that said... We are waiting for for, uh, for our flower to go through. Hopefully, with this second farmer, we will have enough uh, wheat to sell ten before we run out of cash. But again, we just have to keep an eye on that and make sure that we're doing our due diligence. At the end of the day, you run out of cash, everything shuts down, game over. But pretty optimistic. We're doing all right. Once we make that first flower sale, we're in. We're good. That's that's going to be key number one is getting that first flower in. Once this bad boy is built, we'll be able to pump, pump out some more wheat, and then from there, uh, we'll be able to sell another ten wheat. Hopefully, before we run out of cash, we should should be able to. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Well, no, I'm going to. All right, so now this farmer is going to come help with the wheat situation, and we should be good to go at that point. Worst case, I'll put another wheat field here, but I don't think we're going to need it. But yeah, that's it. We're letting our workers make our flour. Our lumberjacks are bringing wood to the windmills for us. As you can see, they already have three of three wood, so all you're really waiting on is your wheat. And you can see we're kind of 
This guy's got to walk off far away to get join the party, but he's going to join the party soon, and we'll be all right. Up that wheat production. Now we're starting to roll. Yeah. I think we'll be able to sell 10 for sure before we run out of cash. We've got three minutes left, basically, before we run out of cash. Let's see what happens. It's, it's nail-biting, I tell you that much. I'm probably going to end up demoing this guy. That'll give me a little extra cash as well. Cut down on my hourly, or my minute rate, excuse me. I only need one builder anyway, technically. I was just doing that to speed up. It costed me a little bit extra in my, my, my minute rate. But I'm going to go ahead and... Where are we at? Three week per minute. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to make this. I'll go ahead and we're going to speed it up right now at, uh, we'll call it uh, 1630. And I'll come back in when it's we're almost ready for that next wheat sale. All right. I'll be back. in this baby here's our tenth flower and now my script should trigger and sell the flower keyword should let's see if it does it fingers crossed if not I'm at the manual sale all right it is not selling so we're going to go ahead and put this to zero, put that at 10. Now let's see if it sells. It is not automatically selling. Well, alrighty then. I guess I'm doing it myself. Well, there's our 10 flower. So now that we <clears throat> made our first 10 flower, we are in the clear. Uh, I can add my builders back. I can start making my uh, less walkways for them to have to travel. Uh, I'm going to end up putting another uh, windmill right here. I, I pulled up Citadel. And let me double check. One, two, three, one over. So one, two, three, one over. And then here. Yes, yeah, so I'll put it here. Go ahead and mark that so I know that's where the next uh, windmill is going to go. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why the script's not selling. Oh, because I have it unchecked. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that makes a whole lot of sense now, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? When you have it off, it doesn't run. Go figure. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, it's the simple things in life, you know? Sometimes it's the simple things. All right, we just made our first sell. I'm going to try and make this walkway as easy peasy possible, not only for my farmers, but also for homeboy right here walking to sell this. I'm going to go ahead and demo this just to give him uh, a set of ease as he's walking. We're going to significantly speed up our flower, hopefully, at this point. 
I didn't want to have to waste that much cash, but in all fairness, it was worth it. I'm going to go ahead and put a road right here, so that way he has a better and easier time. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll make it like this. Let's see, hopefully, if that's fast enough for him. All right, so that's enough cash I think we've wasted on that. I'll go ahead and put another wheat here eventually. What we're going to do is most likely take that road, put it this way, and then have our wheat here. We're also going to make it easier for our lumberjacks. So I'm not going to use too much cash right now because I want to make sure I have enough for the next flower sale. But that is what we're going to do. I forgot to mark back in. So we'll say back in at 25 question mark. Check timestamp. stamp. Uh, leave myself a note to speed up at. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and let them sell. I have enough cash to last me uh, 20, 30 minutes at least. 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes worth of cash, which I don't need that. Because according to my rate, I'm making... Uh, 65, 0.65 a minute, so that should be like, what, 18 minutes, we'll have our next flower sale, hopefully it'll speed up a little bit with all the roads that I added in, and uh, we'll go from there, we're going to go ahead and jump back out, and we'll jump back out at 28.45, and I'll come back in when we're getting ready for that next flower sale, alright my peepers, Alright, so, back in at 36, making that next wool uh, flower sale. Alright, so we're going to sell this, and once this comes back, we are going to, uh, we're going to build another windmill, and once that's built, we're going to continue on pumping out flower super exciting i know this is the riveting stuff that you're here for this quality exciting content but this is the slow and steady easy no nft way to do it it is what it is this is the base model way to get to gasoline production um, i'm sitting here realizing we're probably gonna make this a two-part video just because i've got somewhere to go and this is going to take longer than i have time to film so i'm going to get this part hopefully uploaded before the start of the competition but it's all the same principles applied, just different ways. All right, that cell is completed. We are now going to add our windmill here. Excuse me. Under farm, windmill. And we're going to let that one worker go ahead and start the process. Um, I'm going to save that 8400 just so I don't run out of cash. Better safe than sorry, as they say. And... Uh, yeah, it, I would probably add another uh, lumberjack, I'm thinking. I might just go ahead and do that. See, I screwed up. I screwed up. I should have put uh, that here. I didn't see that. There was a gap right there. We're going to go ahead... We're going to put our two lumberjacks right here. I don't want to waste too much more money, so I'm going to leave it like that. But eventually when I get the next sell... Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to manually sell some wheat just so I have the money to cover that. But yeah, I, that's my fault. Uh, we should have put it right here. And then the two we will have some more room right here for lumberjack houses and farmers, whatever we need. My bad. Whoopsie. 
it happens, you know. I, you know, I try to be perfect, but I can't always, I can't always be 100% perfect. So, we're going to let this rock and roll keep going. Once that cell comes in, that'll give me the little buffer I need. I'll add the uh, lumberjack in. We're almost making one a minute, which means we mean we need enough cash for 10 minutes. So right now, we need at least 3,000. And we're, we're going to have that once we sell that wheat comes back. We'll have enough after the lum lumberjack. Because what I'm worried about is the lumberjacks are traveling such a far distance. It's going to take a while to get the wood to them, and I don't want them waiting on wood. As you can see here, he has enough wood. He's missing one wood. He's missing three wood. And then I still have, I still need the wood to build the windmill. So, here we go. We're going to take our cash now. We're going to turn that into a lumberjack house. And now we should have enough wood, hopefully. All right, we're going to go ahead and speed up. Uh, we'll speed up right at 40 minutes. But yeah, uh, we're going to let this, as soon as this windmill is built and comes online, I'll go ahead and put it making flour, and we will go from there. Be back. back in it to win it ladies and gentlemen all right so fun fact we are about to make another sale we have number 10 and 11 coming down the pipe as soon as those are put into place I'm gonna go ahead and add another lumberjack house because I don't know if you can tell not getting enough wood to fill up my shed, which means that I have a slight deficiency in wood. Uh, we're going to do several things. We're going to speed it up by adding some roads. Excuse me. And uh, we're going to get rid of this one, move it here, put a road this way, try and, try and help everybody move as efficiently as possible. Um, we have enough wheat for right now, which once we get the next... Uh, once we get the next windmill going, we'll probably have a deficiency, so I'll probably add a, a, a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put a road right here to remind myself to put a farmer house there, because that's where we'll put the next one. And we got 12 seconds left. This is the fun part, the waiting around. Lumberjack here. Come on, Lumberjack. Come on, Lumberjack. And we'll start with our road system. We're going to go ahead and just put roads like this. Roads don't cast shade or anything, so it's not going to hurt any of uh, our crops. So that's good. We want them to produce in the green timer if possible. Obviously, we have that one wheat that's not, but that's, that's all good. We're going to make it work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put road here. Road jar. And we're going to put a wheat field here. Where yet? Wheat, where yet? Wheat field here. It should give us our extra wheat we're going to need once that farmer comes into play back to our roads put road here road here anything you can really do to speed up their walking you want to do um, we're 
we're going to go ahead and demo this one and put a road here and then from there we're going to hopefully watch wood make it to the woodshed now that we have four uh, we got four lumberjack houses we have this tree farm that's going to produce wood quickly if they use it eventually we're going to need to make more uh, wood so at that point we will expand out where you see these marshes at we'll go ahead and put uh, we'll go ahead and put ponds so that'll cost us 40,000 so we'll get to that later but uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna stop this video pretty soon so I can start editing it uh, there's one wood there we go all right so we're gonna get this next windmill built and our uh, Lumberjacks will be able to walk a little more efficiently as well as our farmers I'm gonna go ahead and add my farmer in Since I have enough wood now he'll go build that once he's done with the windmill and then we should be rocking and rolling rolling and rocking as they say All right, windmill's up. We're going to go ahead and rotate it so it's facing the right way. Go ahead and turn them on and make some flour. And here we go. Our work, our build is going to go grab that last wood. And we are selling flour. So at this point, all you're going to do is let this run until you've got a couple hundred thousand dollars. And then you're going to start demoing things. You're going to start making room for your power plants and your refinery. So you would demo this, put some roads, you do all that kind of stuff. Not going to be in this video. It's going to be part one. I don't. Have, I want to get this out to you guys. Uh, eventually, what I'll do once I have a part two, and if a part three, if necessary, I'll smash them all together and make another video out of all of it. But for right now, this is what we're going to stick with. Um, in an ideal world, you know, you demo these to make it a complete line. They'd be faster that way. You demo that right there. Put a road. They'd be faster. But at the end of the day. You, you don't need to do that. You're just speeding up everything. It's not hurting anything that it's like that. It's just less efficient. So at the end of the day, you're trying to be as efficient as possible with everything, whether it's your resources, your cash, whatever. Let this farmer be built, and I think we're going to call it a night after that. Obviously, I'm going to let this keep running, uh, let it keep selling uh, sugar. I have a haircut at 9.30. So hopefully I can get a little bit recorded uh, before the weekly competition starts um, because I'm going to have to click off of this uh, click off of this server. But yeah, after the haircut, I'll come back and hopefully get a little bit more recorded and I can always add that up, 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 up upload that later. But yeah, that'll give it about a, uh, about an hour and a half of running just selling flour. So I'll bring the video back in and show you guys. But now, farmer's built. He's going to help add some wheat to this uh, silo. And we should be good to go after that. Making over uh, one flower a minute, which is good. That's what we want. Um, from there, I'm just going to keep selling it. So, I know this is not exactly ideal, but this is the way it's got to be. I didn't get a chance to get this full format like I usually do, but it's okay. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I love you all. Good luck on the weekly. I hope this helps. Let me know what else you guys want to see. I have a whole bunch of videos I want to do. This is one of them. Uh, we'll keep on going from here. Anything you want to see, let me know. I'll do my best to give it to you. Questions down below. If I don't respond, reply again so that way I get the notification. Meet us up on the Discord. we got a lot of good people in there answering some questions, coming up with strategies. Weekly starting soon. Love you guys. Take care. I am Lycan Warlord, the stash, and uh, happy town star. All right, everybody, this is going to be a really short intro, a little short update on this build. I've been selling a whole lot of uh, flour, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some roads down. That's the next step, is to get these roads going. My wood's been keeping up, actually, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about that. But basically, I'm going to put my uh, gas production right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my pond right here. So if any of y'all have seen my uh, gas...
gasoline layouts before. It's the same thing. I'm doing the exact same setup. Uh, we have the uh, power plant here and here, refinery here and here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put some uh, oil pumps right here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As you can see, we've got uh, $270,000 still, which is plenty of enough to get this going. I'm gonna set these roads to update. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to give you an update on this build until later in the week. We'll s probably have to wait a week to do it, but eventually I'll get it to you guys. So I wanted to apologize for that. Uh, the weekly competition is about to start, so I'm rushing to get everything ready to go for that. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep this operating way it is slow and steady wins the race as they say but uh yeah we're, we're selling we're selling flour and making money and this is the easiest way to do it so appreciate you watching i am liking warlord the stash i will finish this video at a later date i apologize thank you for watching and i hope this helped all right i think we're ready to go Lord have mercy, good gal and Miss Molly. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It's like in Warlord, the stash. All right, so a set of circumstances that we won't get into in this video has come up. So guess who's back on the monthly server? I am going to go ahead and continue where we left off in the last video. Now, I made, I said I was going to make it a part one, and I actually have it uploaded already, but I haven't pu published it yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video down and I'm going to combine these two because this shouldn't take much longer. So the video won't be that much longer than it should already be. Now, if you would like to notice, I've done a couple things since the last video. Uh, these roads have been built. My paved roads that I need, I need four paved roads because I've got two refineries and two power plants. And those four things need a paved road. I've got my pond right here that's built. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, water pump here for that. I'm going to go ahead and demo these two, get them out the way. I don't have a worker yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build my worker so that uh, we can actually start pumping out some uh, some of the, the crude oil that I need. Um, who went to sleep? My farmer went to sleep? Why did he go to sleep? I don't want him to go to sleep. We're going to demo. That's where we're putting our worker then. Huh. All right. Well, that was easy. We're going to put our worker right there. And then uh, we'll start collecting some of this energy that I have right here. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did over here. I demoed this pond and made it. Uh, excuse me. I demoed this marsh and made it a pond. And I'm about to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to demo that marsh and make it a pond and this is just so that I have a good steady stream of wood and obviously I'm doing all right if my lumberjacks are asleep but at the same time we want them rocking and rolling so we will go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put another uh, wind turbine here because I do want my uh, energy to be flowing fairly quickly once I start this building process this was actually supposed to already be running. I, I had this back on and I walked away and took a shower and I thought I was going to have a, a warehouse full of energy. So it is what it is. I still have five gasoline left, which is awesome. And as you can see, I made a whole lot of money selling just flour and selling it at a rather slow pace. I'm only selling it at uh, intervals of four. So I'm going to go ahead and demo this marsh and put a tree here. Because that's what I was going to do anyway. And that way I can get a little bit faster movement out of my law, uh, lumberjacks. Because what's going to happen is once I build my lumber mill, they're going to have to start putting in some work. Uh, Alright. I'm going to go ahead and demo this tree. And I'll put this water pump here. Now, I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and need... 
I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna need uh, 10 lumber, 10 energy to get the power plants built, and 10 wood. But at the same time, that lumber mill, once I get the lumber mill going, that's gonna take energy as well. So I really wanna get this pumping. I wanna get my, uh, my wood flowing. So what I'm probably gonna do is put a wood shed here. So that's only 5,000. And then I'll probably demo this one and put the, if I need another worker, I'll put another worker right there. But for now, here we go. We've got all our loggers running. And I say running, walking quite rather slowly. <laughs> uh, these three turbines should be all right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this worker keep doing. I'm probably going to put another. Let's go ahead and put another. Uh... God. Ugh, I didn't want to do that. Well, I just wasted some money there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And go ahead and put a worker house there. Sometimes, you know, sometimes things just happen. And you weren't expecting it. So, we're going to let these go. They all have green timers. So, they're going to be one minute intervals. Which means that my worker should just be constantly going between them and putting energy in my warehouse. Now, I don't have any crude yet. I'm waiting on that to start flowing. Ideally, I would have a lot more. I'm actually probably going to put one here as well. And we can also put one here because that's the thing. The uh, wind pumps, or wind turbines do not get any uh, wind block from the crude, the oil pump. Now, I think that's actually too close to these to these wheat fields. So let's go ahead and not do that one. What we will do instead is put a road right here. And we'll put one here. And that should be enough to keep it moving. I'm going to go ahead and put my industrial oil pump there. So realistically, where we're at right now is we've got... Uh, we're about to make a, a flower sale, so that's another 22,500, and that puts us at, uh, it's going to be right around 200,000, which leaves us with four gasoline, which means we're going to have about 280,000 once we're done with the gasoline. So what I'm going to do is focus on getting one power plant built, and then once it's built, that's when we're going to add in the uh, refinery because I don't want the refinery taking energy away from the building process. It's a very fine line, fine balance you have to maintain. But what I'm going to do is we're going to fast forward from right here. Let me go ahead, skip ahead, speed up at, we'll call it 0720. And we will go from there. Bye. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have our water pumps both built. I'm going to go ahead. We got a full warehouse of energy now. I'm going to go ahead and make a power plant. And I'm also going to go ahead. Eh, let's see. Are we going to make a refinery? Yeah, I guess we should. We'll go ahead and make a refinery since we have enough energy. 
Put another farmer in here just so you'd have something to do. I'm also going to demo this and put a wheat field here. So that way I know I have plenty of wheat because like we're running low on wheat. I also added this pond here to give me enough water to make this. Uh, these trees grow. So I should have a nice steady stream of wood coming my way. Um, I would spend more money demoing the trees, but you don't really need those for right now. I mean, we're already kind of behind schedule, if you want to call it that. But, uh, you know, making it work. So we need five wood, five lumber, and five energy. We're going to have plenty of energy and plenty of wood. But what we are going to have to do is turn on the lumber mill. Now, interesting note here. Uh... There is not a close lumber mill, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, or a lumber yard, rather. I'm going to go ahead and put a woodshed right here. Once I put my lumber, uh, lump, lumber mill here, we will be rocking and rolling. I'm going to go ahead. I was going to put it here, but I have to demo this anyway. So we'll go ahead and put it here. Once we get that next cell of flour through, we'll put our lumber mill and then uh, we'll be producing our own gas at that point. Now one thing to note, uh, we are gonna have a small problem with the amount of flour we're producing. We're producing 1.02 a minute. Um, that's gonna take a hit once we start this lumber mill. But keep in mind, we just need to get this power plant up and running. So, Whoa, we'll finagle it. We'll play it by ear. We need 10 lumber. After we make the 10 lumber, then we can turn that lumber mill off. And wood production will resume per normal. But I'm going to go ahead and... How much... How much we got? How much we got? Yeah, they still haven't, still haven't built this oil pump yet. It's taking their sweet time with it. The good news is they're putting wood right here too, so that's a shorter distance it looks like for them to travel. So that'll be nice. All right, I'm gonna come back once I have these two up and operational, and we will go from there. We'll go out at 20:30. All right, be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have our lumber mill working now. We're going to go ahead and turn him on. We're going to start making the five lumber we need for that power plant. And what's going to happen now, I have the refinery, which has been built. He's making petroleum. Uh, he already has the water drum he needs. He's just fetching two crude oil and two energy from the warehouse. What I'm going to do after he makes this next petroleum is I'm going to turn him from petroleum... To gasoline so he can make me a couple more gasoline keep my sales going uh, I'm at five flour right now I need five more to make a sale uh, to keep this thing running nice and smooth as I hope it shall stay we will see what happens we got plenty of crude right now um, eventually once I sell the last of this gasoline I will demo that fuel tank and just rely on this one uh, that'll give me a little extra cash. Oh. Oh. He almost... He, he was fast. He's quicker than I thought. Oh, he was so fast. All right. I've been so zoomed out. I apologize for that. We need to be zoomed in so you guys can see. I'm just so used to being zoomed out because I, I don't really zoom in on everybody's work anymore. But yeah. He's going to go ahead. We're going to turn him into gasoline. 
So because I put these two water pumps here, he's already getting his two passive water drums. So that's the reason that I do that build when I build out my refineries. Um, my lumber mill needs four wood, two energy, and he's already getting his one water drum. So he's going to collect that if there's no lumberjacks to bring him his wood. But that works because he's not going to overfill that woodshed that we have right there. So it all works together. One nice little synergy. Our uh, wheat is slightly affected right now, but it's all good. What's going to end up happening is once we produce, once we have the gas production completely set, we're going to kind of finagle the way we have things. So that way, you know, we have, uh, we'll have five windmills producing with a green timer and we'll have uh, enough ponds. So everything's passively watered enough wood for everything so uh, we'll, we'll, I will take the time and kind of go over that essentially what I want this to be is you do this particular video you follow this strategy and you'll you'll have set up a town that can just be self-sustaining you can just let it run and it'll earn your daily town if that's what you want to use it for or if you're using it to set up your next build whatever you may whatever you choose to do but the good news is uh, we will be making our own gasoline very soon and that is the hardest part of Townstar when you're starting out is getting it to where you are producing your own gasoline now my hourly is at or my minute rate is 930 right now and I've got two more flour I need and they're being made right now so I have plenty of money thankfully to where I don't have to worry about running out now what's gonna end up happening is most likely I'm gonna demo that put it put a road I'm gonna demo this put a road Demo that, put a road, excuse me, demo this right here, put a road. And then I'll probably put another windmill right here, right here, maybe. I'll put it somewhere right here. I'll, i got to figure it out. We'll put it somewhere right here because we're not going to need these turbines anymore. Once we get the power plants up and running, we're not going to need the turbines. So I can get rid of those. And I should be able to put one maybe like right here, right here. And I'll have them all connected. And then we'll have our five windmills running, giving us our flower. And then I'll also have uh, a new fixed set up for our uh, crops over here so that way we'll have it all nice and streamlined and everybody's happy everybody wins so that's the plan and i'm sticking to it we need uh three more lumber one of them just went in oh we're about to make a sale so there's our money coming in as soon as that comes in i'm gonna start fixing some of the stuff i'm gonna at least fix that one um Realistically, what we have right here is pretty much self-sustaining. Uh, other than you have to constantly switch back and forth between petroleum and gasoline, which is not self-sustaining. So I'm not terribly worried about it right now. Uh, we will we will make this work. Uh, what I'm going to most likely do uh, once I get my well, let's see. We have two options. I can just demo this and make that. A, uh, a paved road we could put the refinery there could just do that that's probably what I'll do instead of having to relocate the uh, lumber mill I'll just we'll just do that screw it I already built it like this we're gonna roll with it all right paychecks coming in coming in hot paychecks coming in hot here we go boom all right now I'm rich I got all the money Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put our road here. And we need some more lumber. More lumber, please. I'm gonna put some more roads right here because it seems like they're all walking right there. So we'll just go ahead and connect all that now, get that out the way. But yeah. It's all about making everything nice. Now, in some builds, the roads don't have to be nice and neat. They can be chaotic. You don't need to have them super nice, and you don't have to have so many roads. That all kind of comes down to what you're trying to achieve. Um, if you notice that this windmill slowed down, it's slowed down because it's being wind blocked by this refinery. So that's the reason why the batteries aren't producing as fast as they were. I was actually considering moving it. I think I will, actually, just because... I can. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. And that's gonna be far enough away from that so I won't get any wind block. So it might still get wind blocked by this refinery, but it won't be so much. I think it should be a lot less wind block. But uh, we just made our first gasoline, I believe, or maybe our second gasoline. He's been rocking and rolling, doing what I need him to do. As soon as we can get this uh, power plant built, we will be able to produce our own batteries, and at that point, we won't need uh, we won't need any more uh, wind wind turbines. So I'm going to go ahead and set up this now. That way, that's done. He's going to get his two energy, and then that'll be our fourth lumber that we need and then this power plant will be operational so at that point we'll be able to produce petroleum a whole lot faster and again once he runs out of petroleum i'm gonna go ahead and put him back on or yeah once he's out of petroleum i'm gonna go put him back making petroleum until we get the uh other power plant built so that's just gonna take a little while so yeah we got our fourth lumber right here or excuse me our fifth lumber being made Refreshing refreshments. And we got a turbine going now. Let's see if it's green. Nope, still two. All right. Well, I wasted my time, but it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> hey, you live, you learn. But either way, that's not terribly important because we're gonna we're gonna power through it. All right. We need two more energy, big boy. Let's go. All right. Here comes uh, the one lumber. It's on its way. Once that builder makes her way over there. And once this power plant comes on, we're going to be able to make energy with our crude. So we're not going to worry about the crude filling up the gas tank because it's not going to. And then once we have these two right here, we'll be able to basically get rid of all these turbines and just use the power plant to make our batteries. So that will be super simple. All right. 24 seconds. Is, is no one going to go grab the lumber? What are y'all doing? I don't understand this game. I think what it has to do is where the proximity of the builder is next to the construction site. But it makes no sense that this was completed and this is what they're going for. I don't, I don't know. They're just... Uh, sometimes this game makes no sense whatsoever. And it's quite frustrating. Here I am waiting for my power plant to be built, but... Alas, they want to go run across the map and get some wood. So, that makes sense. Makes complete, total sense. Alright, after this lumber, I'm going to let him stop for now. Just because I don't need him to keep running. I'll let the wood build back up. And then... Yeah, they just, they're going to get... I just don't get it. All right, we're going to stop him for now. That way we can fill up all of our coffers with wood. Are you going to get wood or are you going to get lumber? What are you doing? Wood. Oh, my goodness. I just need one lumber. Just one. Just one lumber. Is that so much to ask? I don't feel like that's too much to ask. Oh. <sighs> The power plant's a high priority item. That should be what they focus on making. Shouldn't be anything else. Shouldn't matter that these these construction sites are closer to their house. It shouldn't matter at all. It should be whatever I scheduled first to be built should be built first. I don't understand the game's AI. It's that's the worst. One of the worst things in the game is the AI. It's absolutely atrocious. All right, so now this is rock and rolling. I'm going to let him start this power plant. Start making me some energy. And they're going to do that by going get crude oil. And they need two of that to start producing batteries. And at that point, we are looking pretty. Producing gasoline. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start him on petroleum. And then we will cut away and we will make, put him on petroleum. Okay, so from here on out, we're going to wait until we have enough cash for the uh, other power plant. 
and then once that is once we have enough cash for that, I'll come back in and we'll talk a little bit more about it. But uh, we will be back in a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I hope you did. Because I missed you guys. Alright. So, we just made another cell of flour. And, um, we're going to let this cell go through. And then we're gonna build out our wood slash feed a little more. Because I want to speed that process up as much as possible. Right now we're a little laggy for my tastes. We should be able to get a little bit faster uh, flour production. And ultimately that's just gonna speed up how long before we make our final gasoline setup. Now that said, right now we are completely good. We have enough lumber, we have enough gasoline to do whatever we want. Um, if anything, I can delete the lumber mill because that's costing me $50 a minute, but we're just going to leave it. Um, now that that's here, we're going to put a uh, pond here. And then what I'm also going to do is move this. Once this pond gets built, I'm going to move this. Uh, no, I'm not going to move it. We're going to put a tree right there is what we're going to do. And then right here, right here, we're going to put a, uh, a, a wheat, a wheat field. That way we have enough wheat. It's not exactly what I want to do right now, but I think just doing that, getting that extra tree right there, we can speed up things a little bit. And I'll go ahead and put a, uh, a logger. A lumberjack over here once that pond's done we'll put a lumberjack right here and then yeah eventually we're gonna get rid of it we're gonna get rid of the wheat that's right here and we're just gonna streamline all right here this will all be wood and wheat 
Um, but for right now, just to speed things up, I'm going to go ahead and expedite this process. Should be able to get to two flour a minute. And that's the goal. So just trying to do what we can to make that happen. Just because it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's taking so damn long, you know? I'm trying to hurry up. I got things to do. Things to do, baby. I got things to do. So, let's see how long it takes to get this pond built. We're almost done. Eight, nine, ten. Perfect. This pond will be built. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove this road. Go ahead and put a wheat field there. Go ahead and put my lumberjack house here. And then we're going to delete that wheat field and make that a tree farm. So now we'll have five pieces of wood. We'll have six lumberjacks. So that should expedite things. Um, we are making our own gasoline now. So we are gravy in the gravy train. I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy back onto petroleum. And we will keep on rocking and rolling as we go. Uh, next thing, I'd like to get to the power plant built. That's going to be 100,000. So that's going to take me, what, four or five cells of flour. Let's say five cells of flour to get that done. Once that's done, uh, we'll be making gas and uh, gas and, and petroleum fairly quickly. And from there, we can... Uh, you know, make another two cells, make our refinery, our another paved road, and then we'll be done. So, just slowly, slowly but surely getting this, this thing knocked out. So, we're going to go ahead and knock out at 109. Realistically, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible by not talking as much. So that way, you guys can just watch the sped up parts if you really want to. But, that said, I shall return. All right, so a little progress here. Made a little progress. Uh, I extended this out like you saw. I've added some more wheat fields in, and now I'm actually keeping wheat in the silo. That was the problem that was slowing down the flour production. Hopefully, it is now sped up enough to my liking. We shall see. Um, we have 34,000. I'm gonna. Basically, just keep letting this run until we can 
uh, get the power plant and the refinery. That's 115,000. I'm going to go ahead and build this paved road now. And after that, that's fully self-sustaining. Everything's working, functioning. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to do this in the next, I don't know, hour at most. So that's it, really. This is the low and slow, low and steady, slow and steady, no NFT flower to gasoline production video that we are working on. Uh, there's going to be some cleanup at some point once I get the gas production up, but realistically, I'm not going to spend 40000 to demo this, so it kind of is what it is, you know, is what it is, is what it ain't, but that's it. That's all I got for you. Just want to check in and let you know that I didn't forget about you. I am still here, still playing town star for you guys thankfully i fixed the issue with my light so i'm not getting sunburnt right now but uh you know it is what it is all right i shall return shortly Uh, just a little check-in for you. <clears throat> you can see our wheat is doing great. It's finally full in all the silos. You can see we've got plenty of wood for all of our lumberjacks to bring to the windmills. And, uh, yeah, we're creeping slowly closer to that magic 100,000. Um, we're going to go ahead and let two cells happen before we do the next uh, power plant, just so that we have enough cash to cover our butts. Uh, as you can see, we have plenty of gas, which is great. So you're out of, this is the, you know, at this point, we're just kind of out of the woods of uh, making sure that we can sustain our economy. But we're not self-sustaining yet. We can't just let this run. Eventually, I'd have to come here and I'd have to switch between gasoline and petroleum, petroleum and gasoline. So that's why we want to get this thing completely set up. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, we're getting there, though, slowly but surely. Uh, 
really don't have any complaints you know uh, a couple things I, I did a little bit off you know maybe in hindsight I would do a little differently or I had to double build a couple things because I accidentally deleted something because I wasn't paying attention but uh, yeah we're looking good um, trying to keep that production rate as high as possible and uh, part of that has to do with you know the lumberjacks like he's walking all the way down here to come get this tree right instead of coming all the way over here to this these trees that are right here so it's just one of those annoying things that don't make any sense but such as this game still haven't figured out a way for them to fix the AI yet because AI is really what's killing this game if we're being honest with ourselves but Spicy meatballs. Delicious. I'm going to go ahead and zone back out until we get the uh, the money we need after the next two cells. And then we will be uh, done. Well, we'll be, we'll be close to done. All right. Bye. Alrighty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I'm going to do, because I'm a little low on cash, I'm going to start the build for the power plant. But I am going to sell 10 gasoline because I have enough gasoline to sell. So I'm going to do that. That will give me enough cash to cover while I'm waiting on the next batch of flour. And in that time frame, it will come back. We'll be good. And then we can continue on our quest for self-sustaining gasoline via flour production. So, we're getting there. We're going to let these little builders do their thingamajig. And we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. After he makes his next gasoline, I'll probably stop him so he stops pulling all the energy. Because he's beating, uh, beating the, my uh, power plant to the punch on my energy there. But the good news is we don't need that many. So I'll let him stop that. Silo staying full of wheat. Our wood is staying full of wood. That's good. I mean, again, ideally we'd like to get the windmills into a much higher range. But for now, this is just to get it a baseline, self-sustaining, not having to worry about it. You know, kind of kind of situation. So going to put some lumber in there. Let's see how we doing. How we doing, ladies? Let's see how they do. How it is, what it do, what it do, how it is. With their little Bob the Builder tool belts. Don't you know? Alright, there's our fifth lumber, and then we're gonna need the wood. So that's good. The, the uh, lumberjacks will start bringing wood to this shed as well. I never noticed there was actually wood already inside there. Huh. Very nice. All right, so we're getting there. This is the last energy he's going to use. So after this, we will be able to produce energy on our own and finish off the three energy we need for this power plant, and we will be looking good, baby. As a matter of fact, once the next uh, flower cell goes through, we will probably uh, be ready to go with the refinery. So that's all wonderful news. Looks like we are wrapping things up here. Yeah. Wrapping it up. I'm not even going to bother skipping. Because we're right there. So let them make that energy. 
Four seconds left on our gasoline. Rocking and a rolling and rolling and a rocking. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit stop. And if you know, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but when you click on a building, whatever that worker is, they'll have a red, a red uh, marker over them, so that you know that's the exact worker, so that you don't, you know, so you can tell which one's which. So that's that lumberjack. That's that lumberjack. This is that lumberjack. So that way you know. In case you need to demo, demo the building, you can find out exactly which one's which. Um, but yeah, we're looking, we're looking real good. We're looking real, real good. How many more we got? That one. Perfect. We're about to. That'll be three. That's making four. We are right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. So close, I can taste it. Where's our flower doing? We got one flower right there. That flower is almost done. That flower is going to be done soon. Awesome. We'll have our tin, and then we'll be able to make our refinery, which costs fifteen thousand, and we will be a self-sustaining town. Awesome. All right, we got one battery there. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. This is wonderful. 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 Long time coming, as they say, but it's good. Be a lot of sped up parts, obviously. Feel free to, you know, slow down the video, speed up the video, do whatever you got to do, pause it. But I, I tried to stop at the most important parts so that you guys would know what to do in those situations. Um, I, I have him running around extra for no reason, and it's kind of silly. But it's okay. We're not worried about that. I just realized he's going like an extra tile over. We'll go ahead and demo that and put a road just so I can sleep better at night, you know? Alright, there's our last energy. And then we will be ready to go. Ready to go. I'm excited. Hope you're excited because I'm excited. This was not as not as bad as I thought it was going to be, in all fairness. But, I mean, obviously the NFTs help a lot. And once you get spoiled to the NFTs, you don't want to not use them. I'm going to go ahead and stop that power plant. I don't need them to make energy. But if we go ahead and turn on this guy to petroleum, he's going to start rocking and rolling with petroleum while they start making energy. Here comes our cash. Boom. All right. Now we're going to make our refinery. And then we will be done with our self-sustaining economy. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. All right, that's just the game. I was like, what is that little thing? Don't mind me. All right. Five wood. No problem. I can knock that out real quick. So at that point, once this guy's done with the petroleum, I'm going to go ahead and turn him into gas because he's going to stay gas. In my gasoline setup, you have your two water pumps right here. So the refinery in the middle of the two water pumps is the refinery that stays making gasoline because gasoline needs two water barrels and then this is your refinery that makes petroleum and that's it that's as simple as can be now if you notice he's got to go put the petroleum up first before he can grab it it's just the way it is seems kind of silly but it you know hey, I don't make the rules all right I don't make the rules I just break them all right you like that you like that you feel cool when I said that I felt cool when I said that don't make the rules, I just break them. That's me. Alright. There's our five wood coming down the barrel, and this will be complete. Alright. Awesome, 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 awesome. Alright. We are done. We are done. This is a self-sustaining economy self-sustaining boom I'm making product I'm making gasoline that's it simple as that folks obviously there's some things we could clean up here um, I would put uh, a long row of water like this all the way I would have my trees on one side and my wheat on the other I would demo this silo and bring it a bit closer maybe centralize it but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. The way it is is fine. This will run and this will work and you won't have to touch it. You get to this point and leave it alone. Let it do its thing. 
and it'll earn you the, the stars you need for your daily town and then there you go you click your collect now if you're doing this for the weekly competition obviously there would be a little more sense of urgency perhaps but at the same time this is a very basic way to do it um, you could put a whole bunch more windmills as soon as you get gasoline production up as soon as you had it to where you were making your own gasoline you could have spent the money instead of buying another power plant another refinery you could have just put more windmills which would have sped up your windmill production so you would made money faster but I just want to keep it simple this is completely self-sustaining completely everything's good the way it needs to be uh, if I had to change a couple things like this one's not a green timer and this one's not a green timer but that's not the end of the world it's working just fine because we have plenty of, of wheat in our silo so that all being said I believe it is time for us to wrap this video if you have any questions at all please 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 leave them below in the description or come on the discord server come join us I, I do my best to answer every DM I get there's a whole group of very knowledgeable people in the server right now uh, along with me it's not just me there's a lot of people in there that know how to know what they're doing and know how to play town star so if you have any questions you can come bring them in there we'll answer them for you as always thank you so much for watching I hope this is helpful um, I feel like this has been a long time coming this has been needed to be made so I apologize for it taking so long and I'm gonna do better and I will make videos faster and you know all those good things so I am liking warlord the stash Thank you all for watching once again. I love you all. Take care and good luck in the weekly.